Hello friends, this is our ninth video on tips and tricks of C Sharp. In this video, I'm going to show you how to read an XML file using C Sharp. The local XML file stored on computer will be opened in the C Sharp application, right? So I'm getting into the console application now. Let me call this as read XML file okay here it is so now on my desktop I got a file here student which is an XML so here it has got a students record s1 s2 and s3 so you can uh, identify this as a XML file with this line XML version equals 1.0 right so now I'm going to read this file in my C sharp code okay so first I'll take that entire file and print it on the console then I'll show you how to read an uh, individual element from the XML file so first let me load the entire file into the console window so for that I'm using XML document class XML document so I'm going to create an instance for this called xdoc so let me add the namespace for this so the namespace is remember system.xml right so I've created an instance now I'm using xdoc dot load method so load method will load the file specified uh, into our application right so I have to pass the file path here as the string so let me go here right click properties and copy this so this is the file path and remember the name is student.xml slash student dot XML and here it is not recognizing this character it is treated as escape sequence so to make this uh, the path I'm using one more slash character so this will be now work fine right so if you put a single slash that will be recognized as escape sequence in the string right so in the string it must not contain single slash so to make it recognized as the uh, path name I'm using the double slash that's it now I'm using xdoc dot save method so this will save uh, the file whatever loaded from the load method into the specified area now I'm telling console I'm using console dot out right uh, printing it out on the console window so let me say this control f5 so here it is the entire file has been printed here right s1 name ram s2 sham and s3 krish right so this is how we can load the entire file so now i want to read the entire document starting from the first node to the end node here remember uh, the the tags inside the xml documents are called as nodes right i want to read the first node and the subsequent nodes and i want to print uh, whatever node i want so to do that I'm using one more class called as XML text reader so I call this as XTR and now I'm creating an instance for this now I should pass the file path here dot xml so now I'm using the while loop to uh, iterate through the document so while while xtr dot read method now I'm using the read method to read starting from the beginning node right and I am using the if statement to identify the particular node I want 
right so if so here I'm telling XTR which is an instance of XML text reader dot node type so this property uh, will get the current type of uh, node right whatever I am matching with this so XML node type dot element so this is going to get me the element node in the XML file so element is the uh, tag contained in the angle brackets so I'm going to search for that and one more condition here that is XTR dot name the name should be equal to the name right so these are the two condition the element name should be equal to name and the node type is equal to element so this is my so these are my two conditions if so if I found that I am storing it in a string called say s1 equal to xtr dot read element string so this method will read the string present inside the node right and I'm printing that out s1 to be more specific I'll tell name equal to right okay let me copy this and paste it below okay so now this time I'll search for name what is the other field class and the next field is result s2 right so from uh, I'm putting the loop because I have to read all the three records in the XML document control F5 so here it is first name Ram class 12 result pass next name Sham class 13 result pass and the next name is Krish right so let me format this properly Control F5. So here it is. The first record name equals RAM class 12 result pass. And this is the second record and the third record. So I hope you understood this code. Please comment below if you're getting any doubts in this code. Right? And we'll try to solve that. So this is how we can read an XML file uh, using the C sharp class. So in this application we use system.xml. This namespace provides standards based support for processing XML and XML text reader this class provides methods to access the XML data and node type this attribute gets the type of current data and the read function reads the next node from the stream and read element string reads a text only element and the XML document represents an XML document uh, you can this uh, you can use this class to load validate edit add and position XML in a document Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our page on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.